Hendrik Witbui c. 1830-29 October 1905 was a chief of the Kowesan people, a sub-tribe of the Khoikhoi. He lived in present-day Namibia. Witbui is regarded as one of the national heroes of Namibia. His face is portrayed on the obverse of all N50, N100 and N200 Namibian dollar banknotes. Topic Names King Hendrik Witbui, also spelt Witboy, was also known by the Nama name Nanseb Gabe Gabamab, the captain who disappears in the grass, a reference to his guerrilla war tactics, the hero name Koratar, the hero pejorative Otjikarota, and the nickname Kort. Topic Family and early life The family of Hendrik Witbui made its mark as important members of Nama tribes. His grandfather, David Witbui, was chief of the tribe, who led the tribe across the Orange River into Namaland. His father, Moses Witbui, was also a chief of the tribe. His uncle, Jonka Afrikaner, was also a well-known Nama chief, an opponent of Hendrik Witbui. Jonka Afrikaner was in turn the son of the famous Jaeger Afrikaner. Hendrik Witbui himself had seven sons and five daughters, including his son Isaac Witbui. Witbui was born circa 1830 in Pella, Northern Cape, in the Cape Colony, which is today part of South Africa. He was educated as a Lutheran by German missionary Johannes Olp, and was well versed in many languages, including his native Nama. He was a member of the Nama people, also known as the Khoikhoi. The Khoesan Nama and other Nama tribes often fought amongst each other and with hero tribes. After almost being killed in a conflict with the heroes, he had a vision that he had been chosen by God to lead his people north. Witbui was educated at Rhenish Missionary and Wesleyan Methodist schools in Namibia as well as at the Wilberforce Institute in Everton, South Africa. First he took up employment as teacher in 1856 at Keetmanshoop, transferred in 1859 to Maltahoe, and returned in 1865 to Gabeon at the request of the community and the church to build on the foundations laid by his aging father. Topic. Rise to influence Witbui moved north on 16 May 1884, with a faction of the Kowesan tribe. This was against the wishes of his father, Moses, who remained opposed to Hendrik's plans. As evidenced from his diaries, which contain a large portion of the surviving documents of Witbui, he still admired his father greatly, in spite of their political difference. On the 22nd of February 1887, Moses' chief rival, his subchief Paul Visser, had Moses killed and deposed. Hendrik Witbui held leadership at Gabeon in 1888, long after the death of Jonka Afrikaner in 1861 caused a power struggle among the various groups for paramount leadership. Several combat incorporated various leaders ensured until Hendrik finally defeated his last chief rival, Paul Visser, in July 1888 and took over leadership at Gabeon. Hendrik retaliated on 12 July 1888, shooting Visser. This led to Hendrik becoming chief of the Kowesan people. He began to unite other Nama tribes under his control as well. By 1890, Hendrik Witbui was signing all his letters, King of Great Namaqualand. <laughs> German conflicts In the early morning of 12 April 1893, the Kowesan were attacked by the Germans at Hornkranz. Many were killed, although Hendrik managed to escape with most of his fighting men. He campaigned against the Germans for two years, until the Treaty of Gurus on 15 September 1894 where he agreed to a conditional surrender. 
Witbui also decided to render military support for the Germans against other smaller tribes, such as the Eastern Mbanderu Hero, Afrikaners, and Swartbui, after serving as a branch of the German army fighting against the Hero for the previous three years, Witbui and the Nama again revolted against German rule in Namibia on 3 October 1904. During the ensuing war with the Germans in 1904–1905, Witbui rallied his people with the conviction God had guided them to fight for their freedom from the imperialists. Witbui was killed in action on 29 October 1905, near Valgras, near Koiches. His dying request was, It is enough. The children should now have rest. He was replaced by Franzman Nama until the Nama surrendered in 1908. Recognition Hendrik Witbui is one of nine national heroes of Namibia that were identified at the inauguration of the country's Heroes Acre near Vindhoek. Founding President Sam Najoma remarked in his inauguration speech on 26 August 2002 that Captain Hendrik Witbui was the first African leader who took up arms against the German imperialists and foreign occupiers in defense of our land and territorial integrity. We, the new generation of the land of the brave, are inspired by Captain Hendrik Witbui's revolutionary action in combat against the German imperialists who colonized and oppressed our peoples. To his revolutionary spirit and his visionary memory we humbly offer our honor and respect. Witbui is honored in form of a granite tombstone with his name engraved and his portrait plastered onto the slab. His face was portrayed on the obverse of all Namibian dollar banknotes until 20 March 2012, and is still on all N50, N100 and N200 notes. <laughs> <laughs> 